I'm Dr. James Wittig, orthopedic oncologist and sarcoma surgeon. And I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about red herrings in terms of orthopedic oncologists. A red herring is a uh, sort of distraction that can occur that can distract the doctor or another healthcare provider uh, from coming up with, let's say, the, the correct diagnosis on a patient. And from my experience, most patients with soft tissue sarcomas actually can recall an injury in the past. And usually it's a very minor injury that the patient tries to attribute the development of the mass to that can often be misconstrued as a sports type injury or a pulled muscle. And patients themselves may ignore the problem for a prolonged period of time because they think it came about from an injury. So in a red herring, that's sort of a distraction when the patient gives their history to a doctor. So I had a, a recent case of a patient who had a minor injury while exercising. And about a month later, the patient began to develop a mass in their leg. And the mass continued to grow. Soft tissue sarcomas are usually painless. And this was a painless mass that was growing in the leg. Sounds counterintuitive because most people would think that a cancerous tumor in the leg, cancerous tumor growing in the body would be painful but that's counterintuitive. And actually, an injury itself would be painful. So this patient underwent an MRI examination, and some soft tissue sarcomas grow very rapidly and cut off their blood supply, and then hemorrhage into themselves. And often a radiologist might read this on an MRI as a hematoma. So it's very important for do other doctors, surgeons, orthopedic oncologists, to be very wary of a diagnosis they got on an MRI, an ultrasound, or uh, a CAT scan of a patient having a hematoma. Often when they get this result from, uh, from a radiologist and they put it together with a history of an injury, they could misdiagnose the person and diagnose them with an injury or a muscle tear or a hematoma as opposed to a hemorrhagic sarcoma. So I had a patient come in and she, uh, the mass was growing for a couple of months, she saw an expert surgeon who saw the MRI and recommended observation when the patient probably should have had a biopsy right away. And the mass continued to grow for two months and then ultimately got another opinion. It was biopsied and found out to be a hemorrhagic sarcoma, also referred to as a telangiectatic soft tissue sarcoma, where, where the mass was grown rather rapidly and it hemorrhaged into itself looking like a, a big, big sack filled with blood. But there were other, other aspects to it on the scan. It was very heterogeneous, as you'll see with the scan that I'm showing you. It was a very heterogeneous mass, and the first thought with a painless enlarging mass should have been that this was a hemorrhagic sarcoma until proven otherwise and should have been biopsied. So don't get let injuries distract you. Almost everybody with a soft tissue mass in an extremity describes some remote, insignificant history of an injury. An injury would result, or a torn muscle would result in an immediate hematoma, which would re reach its maximum size within the first 24 to 48 hours, and then start to get smaller over the course of time. You would likely see bruising on the skin, the mass would begin to get smaller, and the mass would initially be painful, maybe even tender for six weeks or more. A painless growing mass is a sarcoma until proven otherwise. Very, very important to remember, and remember that injuries don't actually lead or cause to cause sarcomas. And when you think about it in the United States, how many fractures and injuries occur uh, on an annual basis, very, very few patients. It's very uncommon unless you actually tear a muscle, perhaps weightlifting, or really strain a muscle that you can get a big mass-like hematoma form, or if the patient's on a blood thinner that might be factored into the history also. But again, it should start to get better over the course of time, and there are other MRI findings that are important for doctors to learn to differentiate the two. Doctors and nurses, anybody evaluating the patient, really need to have a high degree of suspicion for any hematoma or, or hematoma that's read on the MRI or an ultrasound or CAT scan that it could be a hemorrhagic sarcoma.